so excited. This is probably, well, at least has the potential to be the greatest night in the history of one championship. And one of the greatest nights in all of martial arts history because of these fighters, these heroes, these superstars. And you know, it's amazing when I think back about the journey. Seven years ago, one championship was born in Singapore with a very simple idea. Let's celebrate, let's celebrate authentic martial arts. Let's celebrate Asian values. Let's celebrate Asian heroes on the global stage. As I said before, Asia's been the home of martial for 5,000 years. It is part of the fabric of society, of culture, of history, of tradition, across the entire continent. One championship, our mission is not only to unleash real life superheroes who ignite the world with hope, strength, dreams, and courage, but we want to unite 4.4 billion people. One day, Hopefully on our One Super app, we will have billions of people watching all of our events live, celebrating remarkable stories of each one of these champions here, celebrating their values while they lead the world, not just in fighting, not just in martial arts, but lead the world so that we can all become the greatest version of ourselves, so that we can all make this world a better place. This has been the mission of One Championship since day one. And so when I look back at the journey, we're now in 136 countries, 1.7 billion potential viewers around the world. And genuinely, genuinely I believe this is just the beginning. It is only the beginning of the journey of One Championship, the journey of our superheroes. May 18th, it's so hard for me on a personal level. You know, I've been doing martial arts um, for 30 plus years, I still train every day. It is part of who I am. It is who I am, it is what I love. And I'll tell you, when I look at like Martin Nguyen and Christian Lee, I have so much love and respect for both of them. They are both, honestly, super incredible human beings and genuinely the world's greatest martial artists. So it's gonna be, you know, as a fan, I'm super excited because both of them come out and both of them come out to finish fights and both of them are explosive and fast. One with one punch knockout power, one with the submission skills of a wizard. There's no way that this fight is going to end on a decision. I predict the fight will end in one or two rounds. And may the best warrior win because genuinely I love both of them. Please give a hand to uh, Martin Nguyen and Christian Lee. Also, I'm very excited for one of the biggest Muay Thai superstars in history, Yotsan Kai. The world doesn't know Yotsan Kai yet, but with one championship, we are going to give him global exposure. He is one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters in the history of our country, Thailand. And he will be faced, facing in his first match in one championship against Chris Nimby. It's going to be an all-out war. I don't think that fight is going to also go the distance. That's going to be a very special treat. That's a kickboxing fight. So the whole world, if you're a kickboxing fan, if you are a stand-up striking fan, this is a great, great one super series fight for the whole world to enjoy. Second, Sam A. Gayana Hadao is also one of the greatest practitioners of Muay Thai. Multiple time, multiple division Muay Thai world champion. Against Sergio Wilson, Muay Thai world champion. In this case, it's going to be world champion versus world champion. And it's going to be explosive. They're going to be in MMA gloves fighting Muay Thai rules. So it is going to be a all-out war. And I also predict both of them are known for their ferocious tenacity, but also their lightning-fast combinations. And I think someone's going to get knocked out in that fight. And finally, the biggest fight. I mean, this is the biggest fight uh, for me in one chapter in history. Uh, May Yamaguchi and Angela Lee, again, two women who I absolutely admire and adore because they are, they represent the very best of, of womanhood. These women are both beautiful, smart, intelligent, kind-hearted, strong, independent. Everything you could imagine 
in a woman to help carry the world. These women are role models because of their values, because of their life stories, because of course our martial arts skills are genuinely the very best in the world. And so of course, I, in my heart, I feel very, very, very nervous for this fight, for both sides. It means so much to both of them. I know what it means to Angela, I know what this means to me. The stakes are incredibly, incredibly high. But regardless, I want to give a hand to all of these amazing superstars, our heroes. One more time, this is going to be, hopefully, the greatest night in one championship history, May 18th. <laughs> Lastly, I want to announce, you know, Joseph Schooling and Michael Phelps will be attending as my personal guests on May 18th. Joseph Schooling, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but there was an announcement, a partnership between one championship and Joseph Schooling. For me, it is symbolic. It is a symbol of the power, of the values, of the strength of Singapore. One championship and Joseph Schooling were humbly born on the little red dot, only to emerge as giants on the global stage of sports at the very highest levels making history so it only makes sense that Joseph and one championship partner together but more than that our partnership with Joseph is very personal to me you see I met him and his family after he won the Olympics about 18 months ago and the first time I met his family his mom came running up to me gave me this huge hug and she said Chachri I'm so proud of you you're a wonderful son and I'm like, what? How does she know? And she was apparently watching my life story, following my life story on TV. And she found out that I escaped poverty and provided for my mother. And of course, I did my homework as well on Joseph before we met. And I said, no, you, you are the wonderful mother. Because without, without her unbelievable sacrifice and love, investing in Joseph's career with Colin, her husband, Joseph would never have become an Olympic gold medalist. And in many ways, in the same way love and humility and strength and family bonds have elevated their children to become, to do something meaningful in life, these are our heroes who are also gonna pay that forward because they have been blessed in their life. And so this is the mission of One Championship, to continue to inspire, ignite, hope, strength, dreams, and inspiration. Thank you. Thank you, Chantry. Keep the applause going because now we're going to introduce the multi-time world champion, Yonsen Kai IWE Fairtex. Good afternoon everybody here and also from home. Good afternoon to you, Ms. Chantri, and to the Championship to help me to show you the first Championship and to put the first Championship and to put the first Championship to put the first Championship to put the first. I'm so excited, I'm so happy, and I also thank Mr. Shadri and also Wan Shanti for giving me this opportunity at the end. Please room for me, thank you. Thank you so much for coming to Yonsen Kai. Up next is the challenger to the one featherweight world champion, the Asian phenomenon. The Warrior Christian Lee! What's up guys? Uh, you know, I'm just so excited to be here. I'm extremely grateful. I've been training my whole life and I feel like I've waited my entire life for this moment. 
I'm just very excited to have the opportunity to represent Singapore, to make my family proud, and to hopefully leave with that world title. Thank you guys. Please come and support my match. Thank you, Christian. And now, the one featherweight and lightweight world champion, Martin the Situation Nguyen. How are you guys? I uh, just want to say thank you to Mr. Chashri. Um, one championship uh, overall. I'm just excited to be here. Um, and you know, he spread true values of martial arts. Um, you know, this, this has been my whole life, um, working to these moments. And I um, you know, hope you guys can come and enjoy the journey um, just as much as I will on Friday. And now, the contender for the One Super Series Flyweight Muay Thai World Championship, please welcome Sergio Wilson. Non-stop 
looking for the player finish all time, but uh, this time it's going to be more. And I'll, I also want to say thank you to my sponsors, Bitcoin Cash, Gramble, and Halo, because I have their big support. I can prepare well for this fight, and I'm going to show that everything on May 18th. Thank you. Thank you, May. And now to the podium, the one women's atom weight world champion, unstoppable Angela Lee. here with you today. Uh, first and foremost, I want to wish my personal hero and mother a happy Mother's Day um, and my grandma and to all the mothers out there. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's really, really great to be back here in Singapore. Um, I'm so excited for this Friday. The first time that May and I matched up was two years ago and I'm so excited to show you guys what I've been up to. Um, I've been working really, really hard, and it's gonna be an awesome night. So, looking forward to seeing you all there. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. By now, I'm sure you all have many questions for our superstars and the CEO, Chachu Sidiatong. So now, I would like to open up the floor to your questions from the media. Please raise your hand, state your name and publication, and we will bring the microphone to you. Chattery, Alex Oates here from the Herald Sun newspaper in Melbourne, Australia. Massive card, uh, three titles, um, staff full of credentialed fighters. Is this the best? you've ever produced in terms of one championship history? Let's see on May 18th. I mean, I predict it's gonna be the greatest night and the fans are gonna have uh, unforgettable, unforgettable. Uh, uh, it looks like we're gonna break uh, record sales in, in, at the gate and everything like that. Uh, we're on pace. Uh, events uh, practically sold out already, but um, this is just, uh, I think it's just the beginning of bigger things that come for one championship, honestly. like. I, as I said before, this journey of seven years, I genuinely feel today is still the very, very first day, the very, very first year of World Championship, and May 18th is our first event. That's my mindset always, so I'm always going to bring bigger, better, more exciting for the top order I can for the fans. So, Hi, I'm Echo from Jakarta Globe, Jakarta, Indonesia. Uh, I got a couple of questions about the app. Uh, when did you start developing the app? And uh, I believe that you came up with the idea at, at nearly the same time as you started developing it. Uh, secondly, since it's uh, already been launched, uh, will the fight on May 18th include, are you included within the app? Thank you. Uh, yes, May 18th is live for free around the world, you know? Um, and I'm sure it's going to be watched by millions on our app. And uh, it's, a, it's a big moment for not just martial arts, it's a big moment for sports. No major global sports property has done this in history. But we're giving the power to our fans to celebrate alongside with us. Um, we started developing the app. We were very fortunate we got Sequoia Capital, uh, one of the most successful venture capital firms out of Silicon Valley. Uh, they came on board as an investor last year, and immediately after that, a few months after that, we began the idea of, of putting out a mobile app and hired an entire team in India. We bought 20 engineers and a CTO and a VP of product and uh, experts at mobile apps, and, and uh, so that's when it was developed. Um, but I think, you know, right now we're still piloting. It's still at the very, very beginning. We haven't uh, put all the bells and whistles in, in the mobile app. It's just literally the very beginning. Um, but yeah, all fights from now on will be live for free wherever you are in the world. 
Hey, uh, Angela, Matthew Scott from the South China Morning Post and the Fight Nation. Um, going back to your comment earlier, can you expand a little bit about how you think you've developed as a fighter over the past two years and give us an insight to how you think Friday night's going to pan out? Sure. Um, so, in these past two years, I've uh, defended my title successfully and I've really worked to tighten up all areas of my game and I think it's coming together very, very nicely. Uh, you know, I've been working so hard, uh, preparing for weeks and months for this fight and I feel like I'm in the best mindset possible. Um, really excited to show you guys what's going to happen on Friday night and I'm very, very anxious. So. Hello everyone, I'm Komtaluk Media from Thailand. I have a question to Sabe Gayan Nadao. Sabe, I have a question to you. What is the goal of this fight? The question is, what is the goal for this fight? And how you keep here? In this fight, I have a question to ask you about 2 hours. And I have a question to ask you about this fight. ผมจะกลับมาเป็นแชมป์อีกครั้งหนึ่งเมื่อคุณจะดีให้โอกาสผมแล้วผมก็ต้องทำให้ได้ครับผมครับ I will I will try really really hard for this fight I mean such Mr. Shadri has already given me this opportunity so I will not waste it and I have been training hard for the two months Hi guys Liu Smith from MMA UK uh, my first question is for Martin Martin, you're the double champ at the moment, the champ champ. Um, how important is it for you to be active in defending both these belts? Uh, look, I'm just excited to be here. Um, having these belts, it's, it's always been a dream. It's always been part of the journey. Um, they, 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 they're just a necessary. Um, I'm all about spreading true values of martial arts. Um, and, you know, but they, they, these belts can, can Prove to everyone how much I've worked hard for him, so. And for Angela, um, how special is this event for you, given that you and me both fighting, you and your brother both fighting for titles, right? Uh, this is a really, really big night for my family. Um, we're very excited. Um, it's really a dream come true. It's something Krishna and I talked about since we were kids. And to have this amazing opportunity, it's really once in a lifetime. So I think, uh, yeah, the emotions are at an all-time high, and we're just so excited for Friday night. So the question for uh, Mr. Yosankai is uh, how pressured you are because it's the first time ever in this in this uh, tournament. I'm very excited for this fight and this fight is uh, special because it's a cage and also at the floor will be very soft so I expect that it's very it's going to be very different. Not any pair so well. I have been training for one month and a half, and I'm sure that I will win this. Yes, um, Mike Murillo from Business World in the Philippines. My question is for um, Martin. Martin, this is the fourth straight uh, high stakes fight for you. Can you just talk about you know the mindset and how? You are handling uh, it, it all this time. Look, um, my mindset has always been strong. Um, every fight camp has always been the same. Um, yes, there's high stakes uh, at risk. Um, I risk losing one of these belts. Um, but I don't see it as that way. Um, I always train hard and I let my training um, do the talking and the results for sure. And uh, my next question is for Chadley. Uh, as it is, uh, unstoppable dreams is uh, it's really big, you know, with three title fights and a back card. But uh, how 
huge is it in relation to the newly launched uh, One uh, app uh, as far as you know, having it as one of its uh, kickoff offerings? I mean, that's uh, part of the plan. So, so May 18th, we knew we were building a very, very big car because we knew that we were launching a mobile app. So it was actually timed. And again, like, because we want, you know, millions and eventually billions of fans to be able to um, see the beautiful work of Angela Lee, the beautiful work of, of Mei Yamaguchi, the beautiful work of Martin Nguyen, Christian Lee, Yon Sang Kai, Sam A, Sergio. Um, these are the world's greatest martial artists, bar none. And, you know, I want the whole world to be able to, to enjoy it. So May 18th was designed to be a big car. And it's no accident that we have Shinya Aoki, we have Edward Falaga, uh, we have literally the car from uh, Amir Khan, we have literally the biggest names um, and the rising stars um, across a variety of martial arts, right? So we have mixed martial arts fights, we have kickboxing fights, and we, have, we have Muay Thai fights um, on May 18th. So it's going to be uh, super exciting for all fans. And like I said, you know, everyone on stage, I love all these guys, but I, I, there's going to be a winner and a loser that night. There will not be a winner or loser for life because these are all champions already sitting here. Um, but I genuinely, unfortunately, I think uh, all these fights up here are going to end first or second round, maybe third round, but all of them are going to end um, decisively. I don't think any of these are just because everyone on this panel right here, everyone comes to finish. Everyone um, is massively talented with massive finishing ability. And, and so I just think it's, it's the fans are in for a massive, massive treat. Hello, uh, I'm Pai San from uh, Save the Port newspaper from Thailand. Uh, ask the question, Yon Sang Kai. Uh, we have a lot of Muay Thai, and we have a lot of time. We have a lot of time. Like last year, you stopped boxing for a while, and this time you come back again. So, how pressured you are? How do you feel about this? จากที่ผมประกาศแคมป์เรามาครั้งที่แล้วนะก็ผมก็อยากจะกลับมาโชว์อีกครั้ง Or the last time that I announced my high class, and now I come back again. ผมว่าผมหนักใจไหมก็มีบ้างครับ Yes, I'm pressured. I'm going to train so hard. 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 I'm determined to showcase my skills. Of course, there might be a little bit of um, sluggishness, but I will try my best, of course. You know, for me, I, I believe that uh, Yao San Kai can be a world champion on, uh, in white championship. Uh, he's a superstar. Uh, he had an injury and, and, and had a knee surgery. But I believe we're going to see the greatest Yao San Kai on one championship on May 18th, but going forward as well. And he'll be a world champion again. Uh, Christian Sinta from Spain, in the Philippines. Uh, this question is for May Maguchi. Um, May, uh, what's your approach heading into this fight? Are you feeling, considering that uh, the last time you and Angela fought was a razor split decision, um, what's your approach heading into this fight? Um, well, uh, I have to look for a clear fight. I don't need a decision. So. I will work hard on the ground, but at the same time, I'll I like to show more on my standing too. Hi, um, James. Yes, I'm from JB News, the Philippines. Uh, the first question is for Chatri. Um, Chatri, definitely the One Super app, you know, is a power move. It will surely bring more fans, you know, to watch the promotion One Championship fights. Personally, I actually know some people who actually, you know, bought pay-per-view events uh, from one championship. Uh, don't you feel that by airing all these fights for free that the promotion is actually bound uh, to lose money by, you know, just giving it for free? So a couple of things, you know, uh, 
The world's most valuable sports property today is NFL. It's worth $75 billion. I genuinely believe in my heart that one championship will become the world's biggest sports media property. We will surpass NFL. NFL is a single country sport, American football, played in a country with only 325 million people. Asia, the home of martial arts, 5,000 year history, 4.4 billion people. If 4.4 billion people download one championship app and are watching it, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry. So that's my, my, my answer to you is, this is gonna be a power move, you said, and it's gonna change the world of sports forever. Jeremy, uh, just one more question for uh, Martin Yen and Christian Lee. Uh, Martin, before the rematch was officially announced, you actually uh, posted like a hint on your social media with a caption, you are not ready. Uh, what do you feel that way for Christian and for Christian, your reaction regarding that? Thank you. Um, look, it's all fun and games. Um, it's, it's all mind games at the end. I'm sure he's prepared his heart out for this event uh, just as much as I have. So I'll leave that in the minds of the media of how they want to play with it in the minds of Christian. You know, for me, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be fighting for the world title and I'm ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got time for one more question. So if there's one more question you would like to ask, please do, okay? Hi guys, uh, Sam Clark from Sports Pro. Uh, question for Angela. Uh, do you think you've got a competitive edge over your opponent, having beaten the last time, or is there a different approach you have to take to this fight? Um, I think it definitely helps, knowing that, um, you know, I've fought May previously, kind of have, um, you know, a little more familiarity, um, but I know that since then she's been working really, really hard. So I'm not expecting the same fighter that I fought two years ago. But having said that, I'm not the same fighter I was two years ago too. And so I think that we're gonna bring the best out of each other, like we did the first time, and it's gonna be even more exciting than the first fight. Okay, thank you for all of your questions, ladies and gentlemen, and members of the media.